Hello everyone! Today's video features all the fragrances from indie or niche house Acro. Have you heard about this house before? Acro is the brand founded by master perfumer Olivier Cresp and his daughter Anne. I first heard about Acro from fellow content creator Paula Bianca. Hello there Paula if you're watching. So since opening shop in 2018, there are a total of 7 fragrances in the line. The latest one called Ink launched last year in 2022 and I'm so fortunate to have them all here. I purchased this discovery kit containing 6 by 2 ml fragrance samples. The fragrances originally released by the brand. I got this while on holiday in Singapore a couple of months ago and this set sold for 108 Singapore dollars. The 7 fragrance ink, not yet part of this set, I got for free from purchase. But as of filming this video, the new discovery kit contains 7 samples including ink and retails for 35 euros in the Acro website. The inspiration for each of these perfumes are addictions. Each of these perfumes represent a human addiction. I wonder if there is a scent in this collection that represents perfume addiction or perfume obsession. That would have been very interesting. I'm sure you are just as curious. But before we satisfy our curiosity, welcome back to the channel everyone. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Jane and this channel Channel is all about fragrances. Thank you for clicking on this thumbnail. And if you love and enjoy perfume content, please check to see if you are subscribed to the channel. And if not, and if you haven't yet, I think you should seriously consider joining the gang. So please subscribe and make sure to turn notification on so you never miss new uploads. And if you like this video or found something of value, please help me and the channel grow by sharing this in your socials or simply hit the thumbs up button below. Thank you so much in advance for the love. And with all that out of the way, let's get right to Haze. Haze represents cannabis addiction. No actual cannabis notes listed for this perfume. This instead lists the notes of absinthe, armoire, or armoise, eucalyptus, spearmint, and clary sage. You wouldn't smell like you smoked a joint in this one. Actually, this is rather minty fresh and green and herbally in a perfume kind of way. This opens rather bright and fun with a tiny, tiny hint of smoky undertone but mostly a very green scent in the opening but it's way too masculine for my liking. As this dry down, much of the green a minty freshness uh, fades out as the woody smoky tone takes over. I can see this as a layering fragrance if you fancy a green edge to your perfume. Can do as a standalone scent for maybe an older man. This to me smells like a big boss of a cartel with many bodyguards. Someone you've only heard about but never seen his face like those you see in movies. So does that make sense? So anyway, this scent profile is an acquired taste most definitely but one to try if you are into green fragrances. I actually really enjoyed the opening on this one and I imagine this to smell great on a man's skin. If you've smelled Cannabis Blue from Fragrance Dubois and enjoyed it, this you would like as well. Although this thing's a little more mature smelling to my nose than Cannabis Blue. Smoke Cigarette addiction for this one, hence the name smoke. And this smells more of dried tobacco leaves than outright stale cigarette smoke. Although this increasingly gets smoky from the mid to the dry down. When I was little, my grandpa used to smoke tobacco leaves rolled in recycled paper. He prefers that more than actual cigarettes. I don't know why. This perfume reminded me of the scent of the tobacco tin where he stores his dried tobacco leaf in. Sometimes I help him make a stick or two and I kind of sniff the tin out of curiosity. So this definitely is a man's perfume and you definitely also reek of tobacco but thankfully not the stale smoke tobacco scent. I've once tried a perfume with a stale tobacco smoke scent. I believe it was one of the Middle Eastern perfumes I've featured in the channel before and this is nothing like that at all. Again, another acquired taste in my opinion. I can see this worn as a layering perfume to amp up the tobacco notes in perfumes. I'm not sure I'd spray this by itself unless I'd be partying in a club but then again, I'm way too old for clubbing now. A week. This I'm so looking forward to because I am a coffee addict myself. I started drinking coffee when I was 8 or maybe younger. Still very much enjoy coffee up till now three decades later. This is inspired by a London coffee shop. Awake is very reminiscent of Coffee Addict from Teodoros Calutinis, which I own and have also featured in the channel before. Teodoros Calutinis is an indie brand from Greece, so if you somehow smelled that before, this is in the same general ballpark, 
of a punchy, deep, dark brewed coffee, one full-bodied smoky variety, and very syrupy sweet at the same time. Like really syrupy sweet. This, however, is a lot more smoky up front and less latte-like than Todoro Scalutini's Coffee Addict. Notes on this are Santos Coffee, Green Cardamom, Italian Lemon, Haitian Vetiver. I honestly prefer this more than um, Coffee Addict just because this is more coffee than syrup. But if you have Coffee Addict, this you do not need any more. They're similar that way. Also, I don't think I will wear something like this by itself. I will definitely wear this with something more perfumey and less food-like. Dark is all about chocolate indulgence and features the notes of cocoa, dark chocolate, cinnamon, hazelnut, and vanilla. And I quite agree with the narrative in the website for this perfume, dark chocolate is something that you only really get into as you get older. I would never pick up dark chocolate as a kid, but now I enjoy it from time to time. As a matter of preference, I think I like my dark chocolate with a little pop of fruit in there as food and also as a perfume to spritz on to balance out that dark tone of chocolate make it a little happy smelling i was actually looking for that in here but nope not a hint of fruit this is quite simply and as the name implies pure dark chocolate with an earthy woody undertone that i find is in all this acro perfumes like a distinct acro dna running through them this overall smells quite sad to me great for layering mostly i think with something bright and fun like a citrus or a fruity floral malt i once visited edinburgh and joined a whiskey tasting tour and to this day it's one of the best tours i ever joined and i remember we were told that the way to enjoy the sip was to get a whiff and enjoy the aroma first and to drink it neat which i actually much prefer myself the happy experience i got from that tour is farthest farthest from the experience i got here this smells more like a hangover than the drink that got you the hangover in the first place this smells of alcohol mixed with some digestive juice aka vomit is what welcomes you in the opening it is a little revolting and that's for me who've probably smelled every single foul smelling human secretion there is because of my job so this somehow is able to redeem itself a little bit because about half an hour later this smells a little sweeter like you're starting to be resurrected from the hangover you're in still not a very pleasant scent to my nose Hmm, an absolute, absolute no sample. If you are curious, definitely an acquired taste. Not missing out on this one if your nose and preference is as basic as mine. I did not even care to look at the notes on this one. Night represents addiction to sex. And I did not know this when I first sampled all these fragrances for the first time bought. Seriously, this smells of condoms. The first time and a couple of times I sprayed this on skin. And I don't know how else to describe this juice better. This smells of latex with scented lubricants and also of sweaty armpits powdered with scented talcum powder. Something like that. I don't know if anyone out there would like to rock this scent smelling like that. Out of curiosity, I checked the notes and... Uh, listed were cumin i don't know if cumin in perfume is supposed to smell like latex or pits or private parts there's also rose and probably what's giving me scented powder or scented lubes um smell there's also saffron and agarwood probably explains the skunky smell in this one again another hard hard pass for me maybe for you guys who are curious definitely sample first this once again is an acquired taste kind of perfume last is ink on first spray this outright gave me santal 33 vibes but this is supposed to signify tattoo addiction i've never smelled tattoo ink before but this to me smells woody smoky earthy very very reminiscent of le labo santal 33 up till the mid when this becomes less fresh darker deeper and more earthy and more masculine than santal 33 which is much more unisex smelling all throughout the dry down in fact is more reminiscent of by the fireplace to my nose i think a man will like this more as a standalone or as a layering perfume as well women maybe as a layering perfume or as preferred if you ever feel the need to sample anything or something from this collection this is a must if you love the likes of santal 33 and by the fireplace this is like the two merged together or layered together i've seen this reviewed by male content creators and they did like this perfume enough to get a full bottle and that's all i can say about ink fyi nothing here alludes to perfume addiction yet 
Okay, out of all the sample sets I've tried and I've tried quite a lot, from Clinique to Fragrance du Bois and everything in between this price range, this is probably the most indie smelling, the most outrageously out there, the most um, out of the box, the most controversial smelling, the least mainstream of all. I'm truly glad that this sample set exist because nothing and i mean nothing in here is blind buy safe and almost everything like everything here is an acquired taste kind of perfume this brand i think targets a certain demographic of sophisticated well-trained noses and perfume connoisseurs perhaps who are out to look for the most unique of all perfumes to add to their collection I am far from that. I am and will probably always be a perfume consumer, a perfume wearer. I look at perfumes as an accessory to wear to please my nose and mostly also the people around me who can smell me. I use it to complete a look, to set a mood for myself, for example, to feel confident and also sometimes to get me compliments. Something like that. While I love the thrill of discovery, this brand is much too indie for me definitely not for me apart from maybe a wake and ink which spark a little interest there the rest i don't think i will ever have the need for so thank you so much for joining me in this sampling spree if you have any thoughts to share about acro if you've smelled anything from this brand feel free to comment down below i was mostly also just curious about how the different addictions are portrayed in perfume formats and yes it did scratch the itch band sampling and full stop there take care you guys when your absolute best and see you in the next video. Bye!